I'm not going to talk too much now because um, it's kind of late and people are going to bed and stuff. leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. Did I just volunteer? <clears throat> A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld potion, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or 
more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan World potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan World potions can be made, and the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snape comes out. that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione, in particular, was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. This leads to the dungeons. I know, Harry. Such a beautiful game, though. Hi, would you consider a trade? I'm in the potions classroom. Better keep an eye out for Snape.
the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. Take care now, Harry. Harry, we don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Ack! Blast it, Potter! I'll get you! To break more valuable school property, I said, move along. Uh. Welcome to Charms class. Today we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing with a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go. Well done! 
you've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Yes. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Ectoplasm takes away some of your stamina. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, the more stamina you lose. Snotty, grotty, snotty, potty, water. I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Rick 
Pixie. Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Richter Semperor will stun them. Come <laughs> on. 
done, Mr. Potter. You've completed my Scourge Challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. I do. I'm so fucking good. The weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. I'm in the Transfiguration classroom. What are you looking at? Flitwick's Charms Classroom. <laughs> Watch where you're going. for abstracts. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Come back later when I've had a chance to replenish oh, my stock. Oh. This leads to the dungeons. Would you consider a trade? What do you have? I have flobberworm mucus. Perhaps I'll have something you'll like next time. I'm in the potions classroom. Oh. I am the snake. Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room.
Suck it, nerds. I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a Chamber of Secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a look. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realising it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice Potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realise it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boomslangs and corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable. Alright. Do I have to do that? Or no? I don't know if I have to do it. Yet. What do you have? I have wig and tree bark. You're passing up a bargain, but have it your way. I beg your pardon? 
あっ Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. to the Gryffindor common room. Take care now. Oh. 